Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and uh, welcome aboard K206, the Murmansk. After uh, we lost our last boat, we were given command of an Oscar-class submarine, as seen here. Our mission objective is still to encounter that carrier strike group that has departed the Houston area. However, we were intercepted in the Greenland Sea by an enemy submarine, or at least that's what I think it is. There's quite a bit of ice above us, so I'm not sure very many surface ships will be operating in this area. I am deploying our towed array in an attempt to find this enemy sub, and here we go, Sierra 1 is already down here. We'll talk a bit more about the Oscar-class submarine, but first I do want to figure out what this enemy is and fire on it, if at all possible. Of course, we could just disengage here, but this may be a good test for our submarine. Despite its size, the Oscar is rather quiet, even though it is really massive. And it's also very fast. Sierra 1 is cavitating. Okay, we gotta figure out what this is. It's no way. Uh, possibly, actually. Rubus SSN. Solutions at 59%. Get our stallions ready to fire. Oh, we are under the ice, however. Which is mighty unfortunate and really limits our options. We don't have as many torpedo tubes as in the Akula. We have two 65 centimeter tubes for our 6576 torpedoes, and we can fit stallions and you set 80s here in the uh, top four tubes. We also have Chevals, which are the super cavitating torpedoes. I do want to try these out one of these days. They are mainly counter launch weapons, though. So they're not going to be too effective in a scenario like this. Unless we're fired upon, I suppose. We lost contact. Hey, let's change course on our conditions. It probably went under the layer. Let's drop down to 120 feet. The layer's at 64 meters. The main weapon of the Oscar-class submarine, though, is the P-700 Granite, or the NATO designation is Shipwreck. And there are 24 of them housed in these six doors right here on the port and starboard side of the submarine. This is the same weapon that the Kirov-class cruisers use as well, so they are going to be pretty devastating. And they should work really well against the carrier group if we actually happen to find it. We'll see. It seems like there's a lot of NATO forces between us and that group, however, so I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get in there. Okay, dropping down nice and easy. Have not reacquired the target. Our towed array may still be floating up above the layer, however. So we'll wait for it to get on down here. It did stop cavitating as well. Okay. I have not picked up the enemy submarine again. Maybe a good idea just to completely disengage here then. Hmm. There we go. Reacquired it. Solution's at 5% now. And immediately lost it. Okay, it is hanging right below the layer. Let's come up with him. Make my depth 76 meters. And uh, apparently the Russians referred to this submarine as a loaf, as in like a loaf of bread, <laughs> which I, I guess I can, I can see it. It is a chonky, chonky boat. I mean, it's pretty thick <laughs> as it does resemble uh, a loaf of bread, but I thought that was kind of funny. Okay. It looks like the enemy submarine is going back above the layer. We will copy that move. Go up to 46 meters. Do not want to lose the enemy sub again. And we lost it as she went above. There we go. Reacquired the target. Lots of ice up ahead, apparently. Okay, yeah. Just pack ice. The enemy cannot hear us. I'm debating reloading torpedoes now since these stallions are going to be rather useless with all this ice out and about. Hmm. 
And unfortunately, we don't have the Test 71, which was the wire guided torpedo. We're not equipped with those anymore. So we're our main ASW weapon is the Stallion and the USET 80, which has worked all right for us, but is not the greatest. Okay, let's drop below the layer. We'll we'll reload. Okay, yeah, perfect. Let's reload. We'll load a Cheval in as well. Just to fire it off. Okay, load in. Ready for ultra quiet. And hop back above the lair. Ice ahead, yep. Oh, he's popping back down. Just dancing around. See, she still can't hear us, so at least we have that on our side. Drop down. Let's set all these torpedoes up. Where is she going? Okay, she's hanging out at around 150 meters. There we go, good solution. 92%. She still can't hear us. I'm going to wait for her to turn, possibly. Or we can maneuver into her baffles and fire from there. Oh, she's dropping down, down, down. Well, we'll keep moving at uh, 5 knots. She's going 12 right now. And Wow, 300 meters. Where are you going, buddy? You okay? I wonder why it's going, running so deep. Interesting. Let's drop down with her. Make my depth 150 meters. Oh, here we go. And her in the baffles. Okay, tube one. Let's see if she steadies up. We're not in a rush. Looks like she's turning. Clearing her baffles, possibly. Unfortunately, these torpedoes are not wire guided. And the target is still 14 kilometers away. And we've lost her. Solution is not as good. Well, good thing I am patient. It should pay off here. Moving nice and slow. No need to rush things. Let's adjust course slightly. New heading 220. And she's turning again. Doing some really wacky stuff. Yeah, it looks like she's going back on our original course, possibly. Is there still ice? Yeah. Okay, there is a slight gap in the ice right up here, though. We can move there and launch my stallions. That would be... That could work out, huh? Let's change course, then. Make, like, a 20-degree course change to starboard. I'm trying to move maneuver to this little uh, gap in the ice. All right, rudder and midships. Look at those rudders. Now to do this, I will have to come up above the layer. So we'll probably lose contact. Kind of makes me wish you could like mark on the map where the target, I guess it does show the target's last known position. She's not really doing all that much. Okay, and I need to reload stallions. Let's do that quickly. Okay. Drop speed down to two knots while we do this. You can barely hear us on toad. Okay, one loaded. Two loaded. Okay. Come up to 76 meters, please. Our tote array was retracted. It's 
too close to the ice, I suppose. More ice ahead. Copy that. I think we have to be just above 100 meters to fire the stallions off, but I do want to be above the layer so the target does not hear the launch. Let's check. Getting there. Slowly move to this area, and then we'll just have to hope that the Rubus is... Um, all right, my not under ice and she is not perfect this this may work out for us what's her depth 300 meters still i think i think this will work though if this works i'm going to be pretty happy okay we're losing contact and why did like she was messing around back here there we go now we have the good solution I don't know why it did that. Okay, we just need to keep our eyes on this area here. It's where she is. I want to drop our stallions right on top of her. Okay, let's look. Almost there. It's a few more minutes. Let's see. Can't hear us. She's just doing circles over there. Now would be the perfect time to launch. Are we free? Just barely. Increase speed to five knots. I think if we did fire now, we'd be okay. Yeah, we would be. Okay. Come up. 61 meters, please. Right above the layer, and then we'll fire. Depth is 73 meters. Okay, we have our last known position right here. 13 kilometers away. Alright. Tube 1. Fire. Tube 2. We'll fire just north of that area. Fire. Reload, reload, reload. We'll, just, we'll fire one more. There she goes. Okay, sitting at 61 meters. Perfect. Let's watch them fly. I love these things. Look at all that ice. Guess it is the, uh, I think the middle of December. Okay, and torpedoes almost loaded up. I just love watching these things fly. Okay, like three seconds. Tube one, fire. Another one away. All right. Hang above the layer. Let's turn. Let's start heading 270, more or less. We can see the other launch right there. The torpedoes dropping down. Avoiding the ice. One splash. Splash two. Okay, there was a launch from the Rubus and a noisemaker. Okay, new heading. One five zero. Torpedoes have acquired the target by the looks of it. Oh yeah. I love stallions. What a weapon. She has no idea where I am. She just launched north. I don't think she'll pick me up. Okay, target has been acquired. Got her. There's the enemy's torpedo. And I'm merging with ours there. Looks like something else has been launched as well. And then we have uh, stallion number three inbound. I wonder. Yep, just hit the water. Okay. More noisemakers. Looks like our torpedo is heading for the noisemaker. All three torpedoes are seem to be homing in on the target or in the area. The Rubus is coming up above the layer.
Let's see. It's our speed, 24 knots. Might as well load another one. I don't think we're going to need it, but... I'll just watch these torpedoes and hopefully one of them will land home. The noisemakers are certainly disrupting things, but I'm not too too worried about that. There she is. Oh, this torpedo is going straight for her. There we go. Torpedo impact. One down. All right, number two's heading in. Looks like the enemy sub is emergency blowing. Looks like this torpedo is broken free from the noisemaker and is heading towards the target. Let's check on her torpedo, still heading north. Not a concern. And here we go. She is sinking as well. Three was probably overkill, but torpedo impact, target destroyed. Okay, contact is breaking up. There we go. Not bad at all. And it looks like our third torpedo is heading towards the, the wreck. That's fine. Now we just need to get out of the way of this one here. Drop down to 152 meters, please. Change course, new heading 090. I did not mean to launch uh, a stallion. <sighs> Shoot. That was an accident, of course. Just wanted to make sure uh, it worked. Yeah, that's right. I press spacebar to plot course and that fires the weapons. What a shame. Well, you know what? How many do we have left? We have one left, or well, two left, excuse me. One in the tube and then one in reserve, so that is fine. I figure after our encounter with the American carrier group, we're gonna have to return home to rearm anyway. Uh, the plan once we encounter it is to launch as many of these P700s as we can, probably all 24 of them towards the carrier task force and then run like hell get out of the area that's the plan anyway this torpedo is is searching for us i'm not sure well now we need to be sure we can evade our torpedo let's see it's of course not going to hit the ice uh, that was that was a mistake oh, we'll see drop down below the layer 290 meters, please. Okay, it's pretty far away. I don't think it's much of a concern, but... Alright, we'll just thread the needle here. Hopefully neither of these torpedoes pick us up. I'm sure this one's almost out of fuel, huh? Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. What a what a mistake. But it, it's not a wolf pack video without a mistake. <laughs> All right, rearmed. Perfect. That was a really good first mission, though. Happy with how that worked out. There we go. Our torpedo ran out of fuel. Now we're just waiting on this uh, enemy torpedo to run out as well, and then we'll be able to leave the combat area. Not bad, not bad at all. And there we go, it's gone. No damage, holes at 100%, of course. And we are down to six USET 80s. We have six of these 6576 torpedoes, four Chevals, two Stallions, and five, six MG4, MG74s, four MG excuse me. Probably could have taken less of these noisemakers, but they are quite handy. Anyway, that will end the mission here. No vessels, no weapons, no aircraft, and no flooding nearby. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. And that was the only enemy in the area. 2,600 tons. Continue. Excellent initiative. Continue the mission. At least they're not... <laughs> they're a little nicer about it with the mod. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, and look at this, what I have coming my way. Not a fan of that. We're going to try to just blitz through the Denmark Strait. I have a feeling I will be intercepted by this, this submarine here. Uh, that's tricky. 
Also, we don't have know where the carrier group is. It says they departed Houston and are heading for the English Channel, so they may be in the mid-Atlantic now, which would be ideal. If they're in the channel, I don't think I have a snowball's chance in hell of uh, getting out of that engagement alive. Okay, let's... Okay, man. <laughs> that did not take long. New contact, bearing 125, designated CR1, our depth is 46 meters, heading 104, speed 10 knots. There's a weak thermal layer at 62 meters. Status report. This looks like a pretty good loadout for me. Let's load a granite in, or just have it there, just in case this is a surface group. Yeah, I think this is the best loadout we can really have. Actually, let's load a Cheval. Okay, close to 25 kilometers. Okay, rig for ultra quiet, deploy the Toda Ray, please. There's CR1. Okay, not, is it icy? I can't, it's dark. Okay, lots of ice, so the stallion's gonna be of little use, unless we find another pocket. Let's identify this, this sucker. They obviously have a pretty good idea of where we are. That's why I ended up taking the Cheval as a counter launch uh, weapon. Scared the hell out of them. They fire upon me first. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Nautilus, no. Cavitating. George Washington? No. Ohio, no. I probably already skipped over it. Been on a lot of... Yeah. Interesting. Let's go with the permit for the time being. Guess it could also be a skipjack. Wouldn't that be nice? Skipjack. I think it may actually be a skipjack. Let's go with that. She can hear us. Where is she at? Let's drop down below the layer. Down to 107 meters, please. Can hear each other. How far away is the target? Currently 30 kilometers away. And she is pinging. Go active. Okay. Come up, 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 up. 30 meters, please. There she is. Tube one. Tube one. Active sensors. Fire. Stallion. Right on top. Hopefully it gets through the ice. Good luck. Oh my god, look at all that. Decoy will be heading that way. And a Cheval. Once we're up above 30 meters, start moving 10 knots, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Another stallion loaded and another you said 80. Start changing course. What's our depth? 56 meters. Did the stallion get through? I don't think it did, unfortunately. Crap. Retract the total ray. What's our depth? 36 meters. 33, 32. All right. Cheval is well out of range. Oh, wow. The range is pretty short. Only 2.5 kilometers. Okay. In that case, down we go. Get out of here. No pocket here. Okay, secure active. Four torpedoes heading my way. I am not a fan of that. Alright, you said 80 is heading hot straight normal towards the target. The skipjack is not wavering at all. Okay, we are below the layer. She can barely hear us now. We're at 90 meters, dropping fast. Okay, active sensors, tube two. Fire. All right, tube two away. Load another. 
And let's load another MG74 while we're at it. I have a feeling we're going to need some noisemakers. All right, start booking it. Make turns for 15 knots. She's below the layer now. And she probably has her toe to re retract it as well. Oh, yeah, look at that. We below. Yeah, still lots of ice. God damn the ice. All right, 15 knots at 190 meters. Go down to 300 and start making turns for 20 knots, please. Okay, now our, our mission now is just to run and get out of here. We fired all of our torpedoes that we need to. Just looking through. Uh, it's very unfortunate our, our stallion didn't punch through that ice. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if some of these uh, Mark 48s hit this iceberg, though? That would be just wonderful. All right, make turns 32 knots. We get to see how fast this Oscar-class submarine can go. Okay, we're just going to put try to put as much space between us and the skipjack as possible. If we get out of this without getting hit, and that's a success. Let's drop down 350. I think they may be fixated on our noisemaker, which would be really nice. Skipjack is going evasive. These torpedoes are awfully close. Skipjack's still using active sonar as well. I'm not sure if these torpedoes are wire guided, so that's why I do not want to be using my active sonar. I don't want to give them a good beat of where we are. It looks like we are in the Skipjack's baffles, however. So we have that going for us. I think we may be able to get out of this. I'll start cutting south. 190. Look at that. That's impressive. Certainly is a impressive, uh, impressive submarine, if nothing else. I actually like the looks of it too. Okay, we are hauling ass now. The skipjack's slightly faster than us, but that's not really a concern at this point. Okay, let's continue to move. Just get out of the target area. Let's use some slight time compression. Okay, Skipjack is moving away, heading east. Okay, the torpedoes have gone active well aft of us. Perfect. Okay, reduce speed down to five knots, please. Our torpedo turned. Okay, we may have a chance here of actually getting hits on the Skipjack. Once we're, we've slowed down sufficiently, we're still going 17 knots. I'll deploy the tow to ray and we'll see what we can hear. Okay, all those torpedoes are way up there. They're not a concern. Let's see, where are our torpedoes still even running? Yeah, they are. But they're just running straight. I don't think they actually acquired the skipjack. We are in her baffles, though. I could fire one. What's her depth? Well above us. Okay. Have it run up. Go active. Tube two. Hmm. That's going to be rough. We're... Oops. Right at the uh, maximum range here. May just live and let live at this point. Yeah, she's running away. How fast is she going? 30 knots. She's still going 30 knots. She's turning around. Lost her. Okay, she's cavitating once again. So just course. Start heading northeast. Okay. 
And we'll come up to a reasonable depth, how about 229 meters? Ice ahead. Skipjack's still going active. Uh, quite the duel. Okay, another launch from the skipjack. Are we are still under the ice? Okay, load another E set eighty. Okay, they're firing at the MG seventy four. Okay, come up even more. Load another one. Yeah. Deploy our tow to rank. Try to figure out where the skipjack is and fire upon it once more. I'll probably fire two more torpedoes. I don't want to waste a whole lot on it. I'm actually wondering if the skipjack is above the layer now. Still don't hear it. Come up to 107 meters. Still nothing. Okay, above the layer now. 46 meters. Got ice ahead. Lots of ice, lots of ice. Not much of a concern. Would it be nice to find another pocket? There is another pocket up ahead. That could be our ticket. Let's change course, kind of head for that. Pretty much just due east. Keep using time compression as we head towards her. This is this has been quite tense, and this is turning out to be a long episode, but it's quite an interesting introduction to the Oscar one. Skipjack has gone quiet now, no longer banging away on active. Less than ideal, but reacquired her beautiful. Where is she? Way out there. Yeah, we are clear to disengage as well. I may end up doing that depending on how far away the skipjack is. But TMA shows she is heading towards us. I may have an... Okay, start making turns for 10 knots. Tube 2, fire. Where? Go active. Find this thing. Okay, a load of stallion. What's her depth? Right with us. Wow. Okay. There's a skipjack. Not under the ice. Okay. Making turns for 10 knots, heading for this gap. We'll fire off a stallion and then get the hell out of Dodge. I'm guessing this is a Mark 48. Yeah, it looks like it from here. It looks like the torpedo's already breaking towards our MG-74. Start changing course slightly. New heading, 100. Like that. Okay, we have our last known location. We're going active to try to find her. I bet she just dipped below the layer, huh? Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay, torpedo is loaded. We need to get out of this... Gosh darn ice. Retract our tow array. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there. She's probably already turning tail and running. Out of stallions. Very upsetting. Slowly getting there. A few more seconds and we'll be ready to fire. Interesting that this torpedo is already peeling off. Alright, tube 5 ready. Okay. Drop below the layer. 
76 meters. Find this sucker. Okay, we have a line of bearing for our pings. Deeper, 91 meters. Deploy the toad. Hey, we are ready to fire. The baiting blind firing. Okay, slow down five knots. Secure from active. We'll hang out here. Okay, go active. There we go. All right. Fire. Retract the Toto Ray down to 300 meters. Okay. Hard to starboard. Start making turns for 15 knots. Let's get the hell out of here. Look at that. <laughs> what a beaut. I love these things. I need to take more of them. They've proven to be quite useful as well. We'll see if it hits the ice or not. That is my main concern right now. C is the skipjack currently under... No, she is not under ice currently. So we should be clear. Let's find this guy. There we go. This torpedo seems to be heading towards the noisemaker. And our torpedoes want to fall right on top of the skipjack. Steadying up on our southern course. Good stuff. And splash. What do we got? Just behind her. We'll see if it'll pick her up. That skipjack's really booking it at 30 knots, so probably making a lot of noise. We're only going 15, however, let's crank that up to 20 and drop down to 320 meters. Let's go, Torpedo. Okay, Torpedo has acquired. Beautiful. This will slow her down. We have our two you said 80 still inbound as well, although I have no idea where they currently are. Heading towards the target. Secure and active. No need to be doing that now. And let's retract our toad array before I forget. Oh, it looks like they automatically retracted it. Perfect. Okay, torpedo sending towards the target. Looking good, looking good. Okay, we should get a hit here. There she is. I'm curious what our USAT 80s are up to. No idea where they are. Hopefully they didn't just run out of fuel. What is she what is she doing? Like a dolphin. It's an interesting interesting evasive maneuvers there. Oh, I just wanna go right into the screw. Enjoy your fish. And now she's nose diving. Oh no, she's still like moving up and down. We'll see if that'll cause enough flooding. Let's check on our use at 80s. They're still running on the surface, which is less than ideal. Let's watch the skip jack. See if it starts sinking. Oh, she's blowing ballast. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, turn towards the target, and she has surfaced. Don't think our torpedoes have. Yeah, there's the enemy sub right there. Don't know if they're going to turn around and acquire her. Doesn't look like they're going to, unfortunately for us. That sucks. Oh, looks like it's acquired. Actually, I don't think it has. I think it ran uh, just a little. It was uh, passive for a little too long. Okay, we'll just fire here. All right, last torpedo. Jeez Louise. It went active. I overestimated how long the skipjack would be going uh, 15 knots. It was moving a little quicker than anticipated. So this should be the last one that does it. Let's see. Torpedo should go up to active now. There we go. Now it's searching. Well before it reaches the target. Perfect. I may head back home. What's the weapon situation like? Oh yeah, I'm pretty poor in terms of ASW weapons. Hopefully this freaking thing picks up the uh, the enemy. It's running right next to it. And I guess that's not good enough. Oh boy. Looks like the skipjack's really having some flooding issues. Okay, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Really having flooding issues on the skipjack, it looks like. She is just slowly sinking, despite her best efforts. That is frustrating, that torpedo just went right on past her, but anyway, we're gonna have to head home and rearm. We have very few ASW weapons at this point. And we need to get away from the skip guy. Yeah, that's not looking too good. She's about to hit the ice. Yep, yeah, and hitting the ice. Okay. Wonder if she'll start actually sinking now. We're just gonna hang out around here. We'll see. I'll keep eyes on the skipjack and we'll see if it actually ends up sinking due to flooding at this point. Well, the skipjack is still hanging out around the ice with uh, flooding, but she isn't able to engage us. I am disengaging, moving at a speed of 32 knots. We're going to head back to Murmansk to rearm our submarine. Uh, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to get the skipjack kill, but she is without a doubt out of action. Uh, we should be able to exit the mission here shortly. Definitely an interesting mission. It's unfortunate that last you said 80 did not acquire the target and ran right beside it and was at the same depth. But uh, like I said, these some of these torpedoes just have really poor sensors. Anyway, uh, was not planning on returning back to Murmansk, but we're going to have to. There's no way we're going to be able to fight and defend ourselves against submarine contacts without any real ASW weapons. That's unfortunate, those goofs with those you said 80s, but oh well, you live and learn. Now I know. Honestly, have not used the you said 80 so much for ASW in this series. It's mostly been the Test 71, which is the wire guided torpedo, and the, uh, the Stallions, which I did rather well with, all things considered. Um, the USAT 80s are definitely going to take some getting used to because they're just not, they're not very good, quite frankly. Let's see, and nothing nearby. I'll sleep combat. Yeah, one skipjack. We're going to leave it damaged out of all ASW uh, torpedoes. Okay, <laughs> keep on completing the mission. Okay, well, we have this freaking American group here. Let's run back to Murmansk and I'm gonna keep an eye on the map there's our carrier force in the middle of the Atlantic there we'll head back to Murmansk rearm our boat oh don't get stuck on the island let's go let's go let's go we should be able to intercept it perfect okay been at war for 15 days apparently continue on okay rearm and repair 
we are going to take quite a few of these. The main limiting factor with the stallions is the freaking ice. Four Chevals, that's fine. Eight, you said 80s, six. Those four MG74s. That's a good loadout. Cast off anchors away, and we will intercept that American carrier group in the next episode, hopefully. This is the, the big white whale, <laughs> it would seem. Anyway, thank you all for watching as always. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.